What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and today I'm back again with my Ninja Possible Cooker. And for my new subscribers that are unfamiliar with this machine, I call it a slow cooker or crock pot on steroids. It's basically that but does so much more as well as you're going to see um, in this video. Not to mention the cast iron in a, in a pot. Today for you guys, I'm going to make some easy curry chicken. These are my seasonings, guys. Link will be in the description. And it'll be Jamaican choice for everything. Um, I gave away my Jamaican choice curry, but I still have that. Not to mention the cast iron in a pot. And by the way, this is about a little over two pounds of cut up chicken breast. Now, I urge you guys, this was on a uh, special, that's why I bought it. Normally, I would buy cut up thighs. Thighs are the juiciest piece of chicken that you can buy and it's very forgiving. You can overcook it, it's still juicy. So, breasts, not so much, you have to be careful. So, but this is on special, it doesn't matter to me, but if, if I had, to, if nothing was on sale, I would definitely pick thighs. So, you can get boneless thighs and cut it up, you can get bone in thighs and cut them up. However you want to do it, cut them up till it looks like this. So, let's start seasoning. Now, like I said, this is easy curry chicken. So, by far, this is not authentic, but this is a fast way to make some great tasting curry chicken. So anyway, I got my Jamaican choice chicken seasoning. I'll apply that first. Like I said, link will be in the description. All right, guys, we're gonna link will be in the description. We're using this Jamaican choice garlic, scallion, and allspice, which is super important for this. And finally, some curry. We're going to add some curry to the pot as well. And be careful with the curry, guys. It's very potent. If it gets on your counter and you don't wipe it up, it will. your kitchen will continue to smell like curry. So be very careful with this. Just going to add a little. Yeah, that's enough. As you can see there, not a whole lot. We're going to give it a final mix. Oh, it smells fantastic already, guys. And don't be like me. Get off all the fat off of this. Um, but yeah, it should look like this and you're ready to go. Now, I'm not going to marinate it, but of course overnight is best. At least 30 minutes to three hours or whatever have you. But you don't have to, but if you want even more flavor, overnight is best. All right, let's get it on guys. Now first we want to sear and saute. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. We'll leave it on high and we'll hit start. So the first thing we want to do is what Jamaicans call brown your curry. So I'm going to put some oil in the pot. This is olive oil, by the way. See, not too much. And now what we want to do is what we call brown the curry. Let's put some in there. Just be very careful, guys. This is potent stuff. And this method helps to unlock the flavor of the curry because we're going to brown the, um, the chicken breast cubes when this starts to um, you know to bubble up we're going to go ahead and put the chicken breast in there and this unlocks a great flavor now you could put some chopped onions in there as well that that'll be great but I don't think it's necessary um, for this quick and easy meal and guys also Stay tuned, we're gonna be adding a lot of other things. We're gonna be adding some potatoes, some onions, carrots. We're gonna make some rice and peas with this. We're gonna make some plantains with this, of course. So, this is just the beginning. This shouldn't take longer than two hours on slow cook high, by the way. So, anyway. Oh man, that smells so good. So about six minutes have passed, guys. Just gonna dump it right in there. I'm going to mix it around. Oh man. And we're going to cook this 
probably for like seven minutes or so. And after then, we'll add our, you know, potatoes and carrots. We'll add some um, chicken broth. And then we'll get the slow cooking process going. But right now, I wanted to unlock the flavor and I want some of the juices from the breast to come out. So it can cook in its own juices. That's, that's ultimate flavor right there. And by the way, guys, I'm telling you right now, it smells absolutely fantastic in my kitchen. You already know what it smells like in here. And give it a mix. Yeah, that's about, I'm going to give it about another five minutes. And then I'm going to add my broth, my chicken broth, and my potatoes and carrots, and let it slow cook. There's two cups of chicken broth, guys. All right. That's one cup. Yeah, two cups will be fine. I want all that gravy and like I said we're gonna cook this down for two hours so let me put on slow cook high and start we'll check it at one hour so now I'm gonna get my potato cut it up now you guys will have it prepared before this point so you can just throw it in now I'm gonna prepare it now because we're good like that And by the way, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's free, I promise. All right, chopped up my potatoes. We're going to dump them in real quick. All right, guys, I'm going to add my potatoes. Give it a final stir. And the potatoes, of course, will be more flavor. And it will help thicken up the gravy as well. And that's what we want. I want lots of gravy, but I don't want it to be like soupy. So just give it a mix, get it all in there. I'm gonna add my um, I'm gonna add my carrots now, and I'll add my onions like in an hour. I like my onions to be a little crunchy. Oh, guys, I also put some fresh garlic in there. That's optional. And my carrot sticks. That's what I choose to use, but you could use whatever you want. That should be enough. I want too much. And then I'm gonna give it a final mix, guys. Then I'm gonna come back in an hour. You know what? I have time. Let me add that now. I'll add the time now. And in an hour I'll add my onions. It should be good to go. This is smelling absolutely fantastic, guys. I cannot wait to have some of this. Oh, I just took a little taste oh, of the juice. Tastes really good. Mighty fun, guys. Mighty fun. So I'm going to put some thyme in there. That right in the middle. That's optional as well. I have a habanero pepper. I'm going to put like right there. I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to let it sit there. For maximum flavor. All right, there you have it, guys. We're gonna cover it. And like I said, we're gonna let this go for about two hours. Well, actually, an hour and forty minutes at this point. See, we'll come back in when it's at an hour. All right, guys, we're gonna chop up this large white onion. Guys, we're going to be using Uncle Ben's rice. And by the way, we have about 30 minutes left. So I'm going to make my rice now. All right, guys, we're going to do one cup of rice. The reason why we use Uncle Ben's is because we don't have to wash it. And it's just about one to one ratio of um, water. So I'm going to use my garlic, scallion, and allspice. Along with some um, 
chicken bouillon broth, I mean powder. I'm gonna mix that up. Trust me, that's that's mad flavor right there. Pour that in, put my onions in. I'm gonna halfway drain these kidney beans. You need one can per cup. Just leave it just like that. And we're gonna put it in my rice cooker and it will cook usually like in 18 to 20 minutes and it'll be perfect. All right guys, we got a plantain. I'm gonna cut it up real quick. And guys, if you're new to making these, make sure you get one that looks like this. It's going to be sweeter and the color is going to be darker, which is what you, both things that you want. Once you cut off uh, the ends, you just cut it down the middle like this and you're ready to take it off. Just like so. And actually, if I cut it better, it all came off even smoother, but you know, it's all good. You get the point. And we're just going to cut them how we want them. How thick or thin, however you like it. I cut up two plantains. I don't know who was I kidding. I was going to do one at first, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> that will be probably gone before, like six will be gone before I even plate my food. <laughs> okay guys, two hours is up. I'm going to fish out the pepper and fish out the thyme. We don't need those. Certainly don't want the pepper in there. Try and get out the time as best you can. You don't want to be messing around with that. You get the point. All right, once you fished everything out, turn off your machine. Give it a mix. Look at that, guys. Plenty of gravy. And you could put some... Oh, I still missed one. You could put some cornstarch in it and even thicken up even more. But this is fine for me. I don't need it that thick, but if you want it that thick, you could have either added more po two potatoes or just add some cornstarch, some cold water and co um, cornstarch and make it thick. But this is this is how I want it. And now you know your, your recipe is done. If the uh, potatoes are fork tender, you know you're done. Remember, we browned the, um, the meat prior, so it was like 50% cooked. Prior to us slow cooking it for the uh, two hour and 45 minutes. There it is, guys. I turned it off. I'm just going to let it sit. It'll thicken up even a little bit more. Give it a taste now. It tastes perfect to me. It needs no salt. needs no pepper. needs needs nothing. Chicken's fork tender. Potatoes fork tender. Everything's good. One thing I do, um, I'm going to put in the description, said two cups of broth, a cup and a half would be fine. I spooned out like a half a cup or like one fourth cup of um, broth. And it tastes like soup, like curry soup. <laughs> it was really good. But this could be you guys. I got my ninja speedy in the house. We're going to make the plantains on there. Make sure you spray out your tray so they don't stick. And go ahead and hit both sides of your plantains with oil as well. I got my Evo oil spray. Link will be in the description. You have to do, don't miss this step because it will stick if you don't. Any one of these steps you miss, it will stick. You're going to add some salt. Just dust it with some salt. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, guys, we're ready to put in the Ninja Speedy. I got some butter. Put that in there and mix it up. Oh, man, it smells so good, guys. This smells perfect.
And usually, guys, I, I put a little, put a little ginger in here as well. I'm not going to do that today. Now we're going to add some salt. You know what? I gave it a taste. It tastes so good. I am going to add just a touch of ginger in there. Just a touch. It will just complete it. Oh, yeah. Sure. That much. Yep. That. That will complete it, guys. Now when I mix it up, it's going to taste fantastic. Oh. I wish you guys could smell it. Alright guys, we got five minutes left. I'm going to flip them over. And by the way, I did this for 12 minutes, by the way. We got five minutes left. We'll flip them over. We may not even need the remaining five. We probably need like three, but we'll see. Alright guys, so we took two minutes off. So a total of 10 minutes at 375 in the Ninja Speedy. And this is what we got, guys. This could be you. And I really didn't have to flip it too much. I could have just kept going on the other side and it would have cooked it very similar. But, you know, since we're on video, I went ahead and flipped it. But this could be you guys. This is perfect. This could be you guys. About two and a half hours of your life. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. And I am starving right on time for dinner. Make sure we get a potato in there. As always, you first. You got it? That's where it's at, guys. No different than if I went to a Jamaican restaurant. No different. They probably would have like cabbage with vegetables. I didn't feel like doing all that. This is what I wanted today. I do have some carrots in there, but you know. You know, the Jamaican restaurant, they'll have like shredded cabbage and some other stuff in there. But this is so good. Potatoes melt in your mouth. So much flavor, guys. The curry, the seasonings, so good. Mm. The habanero pepper, it gives it just that right kick. It's like, how can I explain? Like, right when you know something's about to get hot and then it just stops, which is just perfect for anybody. Now, if you want hot, obviously you would. You could have, you know, poked a hole in the habanero pepper or add some hot sauce or whatever have you. But this is perfect, guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wanted a plantain. This could be you guys. Melt in your mouth. Perfect. So easy, guys. So easy. That ginger added just that extra umph to it. Mm. I made my mama proud. This could be you guys. Well, guys, that was absolutely fantastic. Super easy in this Ninja Possible Cooker. Link will be in the description. Take a look at it. It does so many things. It slow cooks. It sears and sautés. It proofs. It bakes. I mean, just, just click the link and look for yourself. It's cast iron. It comes with a spoon. It comes with a lid. It's just a fantastic all-around multi-cooker. Like I call it, steroids. I mean, slow cooker on steroids. That's, that's what it is. So click the link, check it out for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. I'll put a link also to the potato peeler as well. A lot of people ask for that when I use it. I'll include it for sure. Um, the recipe will be in the description as well. Super easy. 
as long alongside the uh, seasonings that you could pick up all you need is like three and some ginger some other things and you're good to go this is super easy to make you and your family definitely will love it and remember curry is potent so this is how I store mine away I put it in a, um, a zip bag just in case it falls or whatever don't have to worry about it spreading all over the place so just be careful make sure you wipe down your counters Make sure you wash it. I'm going to put my um, all my dishes in the dishwasher, get them clean right away. And by the time the morning comes, my natural kitchen smell will be back. I don't mind smelling curry now. I don't want to smell it tomorrow. <laughs> but that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Big ups to all my Jamaicans and Caribbean people and my American people that love Caribbean meals, recipes, just like this. So big up all of you. Big up yourself. It's Cooking with Doug. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.